Brandy and I often get asked about solar panels, so we created five tips for you to consider before buying a home with solar panels. First of all, we are not experts on solar panels and some of the parts that go in with that. But we do recognize there's a reason sometimes people want to do this to save the earth resources and make a reduced carbon imprint. But again, we are not experts, but as real estate agents, we do get often asked this question and these are important things a buyer should consider. Number one, check to see if the seller has a loan, lease, or owns the solar panels outright. You need to find out if the seller plans on paying off the solar loan if there is a loan, or if that lease is transferable to the new buyer, or if they own them outright and what the warranties are. A key question to know from that seller is, are they expecting you to take over their lease, their loan, or being compensated in any way for those solar panels? Let's say you're a buyer and you are willing to take over the seller's lease or loan on those solar panels. This may be a problem because it could affect your debt to income ratio, so you need to double check with your lender. And another thing is the lender may not accept the terms of that loan or lease, so you need to check with them on that. Also, leases are very complicated and you need a professional who understands those leases to review that so you understand all facets of that lease. Quite frankly, if the seller is leaving the solar panels and they are free and clear, that is really the best route for a buyer because there's no strings attached. In fact, we just closed the house that way. Number two, maintaining those solar panels. That could be expensive and it depends on your lease and your loan, what is included, but you need to work on your budget to make sure that's included, plus maybe your savings on the utilities. You gotta look at the whole picture. Always ask an expert in the field, not just someone who's trying to sell you those solar panels. Most definitely. Number three, the advantages of buying a home with solar panels. Of course you could save some money on utility bills, but most of the time it's really about how you feel about providing a better, cleaner air to the world and reducing your carbon footprint. Number four, do solar panels affect the resale value? Each market is different on how they affect the value on a home with solar panels. For example, if you're in a community and there's no electricity or it's very, very expensive, of course the value of a solar panel would be much more on a house than maybe where you live in an area where electricity is moderately priced and easily obtainable. Number five, an appraiser's opinion on solar panels value. Appraiser cannot give any value to a leased solar panel because lenders do not allow that. If solar panels are owned, an appraisal will have to find comparable sales that will show a buyer actually paid more for the home because of this amenity than they would have paid if the house did not have solar panels. There are so few sales with owned solar panels that it's difficult to extract the exact value. At this time in Aiken, South Carolina, there is not enough data to demonstrate they really add much value. We would suggest that if you plan on installing solar panels, it's for the long-term savings on utility bills, potential tax credits. And it just makes you feel good that you're making a difference in the world by reducing your carbon footprint. It's a big decision, we know. We're here to help. Remember to like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our current and future videos. It's your home, your lifestyle, and, and we, we are your real estate team. team.